Welcome to Das Element. This is an overview of the functionalities that the software provides. Here you see the gallery view. An artist can browse for tags or categories, or apply various filters to find the element that's needed for the shot. Multiple libraries can be loaded, each one serving a different purpose. The categories are structured in a hierarchy tree, specifically designed for visual effects. Clicking the fire category gets you all fire elements. Or you could narrow down your search by choosing one of the child categories, like flame or torch. This is the ingest view. Here, you can choose the files that you want to add to your library. After the generation of the previews, you can now start tagging the elements. Either start tagging manually, or use the built-in auto-tagging feature that the software provides. The auto-tagging is supported by a machine learning model that was specifically designed for visual effects and is trained on thousands of VFX elements. Make sure to double-check the tags and add new ones if needed. A second model will give you tag suggestions based on the elements you already have ingested into your library. Clicking Ingest Elements will register all items to the database and render the proxy files. In the settings, you can configure the global naming convention that is used across all libraries. Using the Path Builder will give you instant visual feedback about what the final folder structure will be. In the Library tab, you can set up different libraries. Here, you can overwrite values. For example, the server location or the folder name, like the name of the facility. You can create multiple transcoding templates. Use one of the predefined transcoding tasks for generating thumbnails or proxy files. Or you can define a custom command to, for example, send a job to the render farm. Explore the category hierarchy tree to get a better understanding of the structure and the synonyms for each category. Thank you for watching.